Yo, hello everyone! Are you interested in reaching a global audience with your WordPress website? Adding multilingual support can help you cater to visitors from different regions and enhance the experience of your users. In this tutorial, we will show you how to easily add multiple languages to your WordPress website using only plugins. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first and first guys, make sure that what is the main goal of your website. So my website is, first of all, I'm having it in English. Don't worry about this. <laughs> uh, this takes only like some random text. It's not really in English. I don't think it is a language. I'm not sure though, but it is just Lorem Ipsum language. So you know about it. But in general, my website is in English. So let's say, for example, I want to translate it to Spanish or Korean or whatever. What should I do? Well, most of the users are going to come to your website, click here and translate it. But this is not as efficient. So if I'd like to choose it, for example, here, I'm going to Spanish or English, Spanish, for example, or French, for example, whatever language. So, for example, in Korean, yeah, it will translate everything. But there is some words that are going to stay still in English, and there is some translations that are not going to actually be real. So, for example, this text is cannot be in any word translated. Let me just try it, for example, as a joke. So, here, uh, here we're gonna do English. And customer service is a lot of customer support, but that's how it is. That doesn't even make sense. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is how it looks like in Korean. And this is the goal that we are going to try to achieve without using this translate tool, which is only supported by Google Chrome. So what we are going to do now is actually go to our website and go to the plugin sections. Through this section, we are going to click on plugins and then click on add new. Now, on this area, we'll have two ways to actually search for plugins. The first way to add a plugin is to upload it through our PC. The second way is by searching it in here by clicking on search plugin and click on multi language. And now, all you have to do is wait for it until it loads up the languages for you and it will be done. So there's multiple languages translator. There is Transit WordPress with GDS translator and Transit WordPress Google Language Translator. So there is two kinds of translators. Now we're going to install Translate WordPress with G Translate. So click on it. Click on install now, as you can see here, and then click on activate to activate it. And when you're done, wait a little bit. And here we go, we are ready to go. So let's check it if it is active. So well, let me just search for it here in this list. Um, here it is, G Translate, click on settings. For now, we are going to go through the settings one by one. So the widget preview is going to be like that. So these are the languages uh, here. For the English, we can use alternative flags as USA. Uh, flag for English as well. We can use Canadian flag for Portuguese. We can use Brazil, Mexico, Argentine. Uh, as you can see here, so it is completely up to you. you. Can even adjust the flags. What can you do about it? This is so many things that you can edit through here. So we can translate it to French, Germany, Spanish, Portuguese. Uh, Russian, Italian, you can choose every language here, but imagine how the list is going to be long. So make it short as it is. Let's add also Korean. So our goal was to add Korean, so I'm going to add even Korean here. And let's check it here if it is done. Yep, it is added. And now all you have to do is simply, if you'd like to have some custom CSS, you can get it and then click on save changes. Also, if you don't know, guys, the actual ha they actually have um, some kind of um, premium version. If you want it, you can try it now for free as well. So they have a free version, which is has all the languages, machine translation, unlimited words, and page views. For this one, it will be 
bilingual, it will have no uh, neural translation, which is like a better translation than machine translation. It will have a limited words, search engine indexation, and edit translations. So you can do all of this in that. Here you can turn this on and off if you'd like your edit translation. It, it will be much expensive than you think. It will be exactly like the startup. So this is for the pricings. You can go through them and check which one is the best for you. For now, we are going to stick with the free one. Here, as you can see, I'm just going to stick with that. And then let's check if it is now on our website. As you can see here, I have opened my website successfully. And this is how the website is looking like. So for us to actually have it on our website, what we can do is simply try first to translate it. So let's try to translate this right. Here we go, Korean. And yeah, as you see, uh, we still have the problem. So it translated some, th some stuff, but this one, it couldn't translate now. So yeah, we are still facing this problem. And now, as you may see here, go and check all the kind of the things that are here. So if there is any problem with any plugin, it can cost you to not actually be able to see this plugin in your page. Now here, as you can see, click here and try to actually show in menu, make it primarily menu. And here show floating language texture, make it in the top left top right and here float you can make it as a pop-up and when you're done with this click on save changes and now as you may see go to your website refresh it and let's wait a little bit and as you can see it is bugged in the top over here so if you fixed your main menu it will be much better so let me just translate it to Arabic as you can see it has been translated to Arabic let me just to Spanish for example and it will start like translating it to Spanish and much more so this is the pop-up first so now we have the pop-up in our website and it is not functioning yet so it is we have in it in our website but it is not functioning as we want so what we can do is go back to our WordPress website and here from here as you can see literally what you have to do is gives it some positioning tips as you had first we had this problem that the position is actually not correct so what we can do is simply go here copy this and fix it in our HTML link we have to follow their instructions one by one so as you can see here the next thing is if you still have the same problem you will have here you will have to connect with their support and now let's click here to auto switch to browser language native language names and enable CDN and for now let's keep it as simple as it is and let's save changes so we go you have saved the changes and let's try to refresh the page and as you can see it is in English we still have the same problem that this is in the top right corner but for now it is working good it is translating uh, some words and everything is looking perfect you just have to fix some stuff with the HTML code and fix the main menu and of course get the premium version so yeah guys that was it with today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like and thank you guys for watching bye bye